We're back. Hello, beautiful black people. This is a really amazing day. Yes, Tom, you can clap. Don't be scared to clap. Give it up. <laughs> big South Philly hands. One man band. Look, um, y'all know I'm big on signs and shit like that. Um, there is another Aquarius in this building. I don't, the, the camera didn't pan yet because I know how I drag it down. And you over there thinking like, damn, another guest? I want to talk to Phelps. No, no. This is a good one, okay? I've been compared to this lady since the beginning, since I started. I would be doing my little thing and they would go, stop trying to be like her, bitch. And I'd be like, oh, you know? Eventually, we finally met. We spoke a bit. I thought she was too busy. Regardless, Jess Hilarious is here. woo <laughs> She iced the fuck out. So Birkin over there, pay attention. <laughs> woo woo. Thank you, Mona. What up, baby? I'm excited. Listen, not just an Aquarius. I need the people at home to know. Mm. First of all, I love my kind. Yeah. Blacks, of course, but Aquariuses. Absolutely. I think we're one of ones. We have the ear, most eerie similarities. Although, I do believe that Aquariuses that are born in the month of January mm-hmm. are, like, I don't want to call them like, mid because that's probably me oh my but God. i will say jesus you ever had a really really good burger right mm-hmm. and then it hit you after you chew it was no cheese on it wow that's what a january aquarius is it's a cheeseless burger so, still a good burger okay but where's the fucking cheese you know what i mean so mid not it's a step <laughs> up above me because you would still go get this burger again you know what i mean yeah but you might bring a slice of cheese in your bag I believe, because you I, need I like cheese. That. I like that. Okay. What? It, well, to be honest with you, the, you this this gonna shock you. I don't even really think I know no January, January crisis. crisis. Nah, I don't know none of them because they don't stand out. They, <laughs> you didn't know this, but they are a thing. They definitely are a thing. People. I just don't know none of them. No, I really. don't. Nah. This lady is born February the thirteenth. Yeah. I'm born February 12th. We're almost, and that's just the same bitch. I would have never fucking even knew that. Really? You, you know? can't smell it on me? I, nigga, I've been trying to smell you forever, nigga. Like, I know that sounds a little weird. <laughs> but I definitely was in your DM before. I'm like, yo, what up? The fuck? What's happening? Because I thought you was from Baltimore. See? That's what they say. A lot of people think I'm from Baltimore. Yeah. I love Baltimore. Yeah. My viewers know my love for Baltimore. Of course, my, my beloved Rhonda's from Baltimore. Shout out to Rhonda. But... Baltimore is just a city, in my opinion. It has so much, like, character. Yeah. Like, it almost has its own personality. And it's the first city that I didn't have to watch a show Mm -hmm. or, like, study anything to see that. The moment I'm there, there's nothing like this. Yeah. And that's what sticks out to me in Baltimore. I'm talking about I'm in Baltimore 1 a.m. alone, Mm -hmm. getting food, Mm -hmm. walking by Norma Jeans, you know, smoking weed with locals. Like that, right there. Thug, nigga. Oh, well, yeah, okay. I'm a bit adventurous in. um, Fucking 1 a.m., Mona? The person I would be with in Baltimore, he's really like, kind of like introverted so i would be, be like man you go and just come back so i would end up being by myself sometimes oh shit let me tell you one thing that's interesting <laughs> nigga said go ahead down no jeans at one o'clock i have never went outside in baltimore at night and not almost getting into a fight every time it's almost a fight isn't that interesting i mean that's regular but what the fuck really you see what i'm saying because look we had this debate about what's wilder philly or baltimore we all first of all you already know philly and baltimore has this fake like beefy thing it's more with the kids though yeah not definitely the kids yeah it's all about the yeah all that yeah shit that, that, that yeah right. yeah that. okay it's a lot of tiktok beef you know <laughs> what i mean damn right then i'm such a lover of baltimore then you know, y'all got your own dances or whatever, but people debate, like, who did what? and Because you know what the big debate is? Tat, tat, my, my, tat, tat. People say okay. Philly did that first. Okay. People say Baltimore did that first. But you know what's yours? Hmm. And it went well with you guys, all of you as a collective. Hmm. And it went viral recently. And I was like, oh, my God, this is so lit. Wow, which one? That the Park Heights Strut. Park Heights Strut. That Park Heights Strut. I'm practicing that thing. I'm practicing like, that you, thing. Now Puffy you got did it? it. No, I don't know how to do a stop. Puffy ain't do what he thought he did. Did you, you, I did, you got he it? He was a little off. Listen. He was a little off. He started off good. Like, when he, the first three struts, I was like, all right, he, 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 was, he was all right. Yeah. And then... He, did you see what I did on that? I put the Frankie no, Lyman shit I to it. Yo, that it. nigga. Then he started, then he turned into Frankie Lyman. You know he started like as a, a dancer, though, so that's his of lane. Of course, yeah. 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 But, but no, the dance. Park Heights track, that's that's one of the most. Park Heights that's, is that's on what side of town? Yep, West Side. West Side, yep. okay, all right. Yep. And Park, West that, side. that dance in itself, is that something that your mom and them was doing and it came out in the 90s? What, like how old is that? That actually is an old dance, but like the guy Bunky who did he shout out? 
Like uh-huh. he uh he actually put his own spin on it. So he like kinda remixed it, but he from Park Heights too. But that 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 dance been around. Yeah. Like been around. Yeah, and his parents was doing that shit. First Baltimore you know? dance I've ever learned. I was in the sixth grade and mm-hmm. it was called the Hilltop. And oh, it took shit. me a month to learn it and I still can do it. I can clap through my legs. I can hit my oh, foot. Okay. Go from the back, twerk a little bit. I have the hill toe down pat. I know the fuck that's right. You know how I do the inward one though? No. Yeah, stop. see. I'm yeah. Sure <laughs> I know how to do the hill toe, but, right, but that's right. another part of Baltimore. Of course, I love the party scene. It was when I was a kid coming up, people were going to the Paradox. Yep. That was the, the place to be. Jacks, fuck yeah. Okay. Yep. Like, I've been doing this Baltimore yeah. thing. So, you that's born and raised West Side Baltimore. That's West Side Baltimore. I'm from Emerson Avenue. You know, okay. Where Poplar Grove is and all that. I'm Harlem and Duclin, to be very specific. But mm-hmm. yeah, Emerson Avenue was my hood. Yep. Yeah. Born and raised there. Is your heart still in Baltimore? Like, do you love Baltimore? Absolutely. Is it somewhere you like done with? We'll never stop being home. Mm-hmm. Like, and I just closed on an estate in DC, and people be like, "Damn, can we you- pause for that?" I just closed on an estate. <laughs> you heard you heard my dog okay yes, congratulations man. thank you so much thank you so much i i didn't want to live directly in the heart of the city no more mm-hmm. so what i wanted to do was move but not be too far away i live an hour and 10 minutes away from the city so yeah i'm still good but like baltimore's always where i'm gonna be i yeah. love it yeah i don't think it's anywhere like baltimore no from the talking to the dancers to the, i mean just everything about yeah. it you know but that's why i'm such a big fan of it. and i think it's always cool when people get to like kind of get the homage mm-hmm. for it because so many times things get big and you forget this little small place that it comes from oh yeah and it's yeah. always something black of course yep. but even them areas like yeah puff daddy doing a park you know park high strut that's yep. a big deal that's for a niggas. big thing for my fucking city yeah. that's a big thing you know you got Niggas that's that's doing them still outside and you know they they that type of shit like motivates them to to get off the block to do shit you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying like true who the fuck know who the fuck knew that Diddy was gonna be even trying to park high strut mm-hmm. this nigga even tagged my homeboy who do it that's you can lit. tag Bunky Jr like the the nigga who be doing it and shit that's lit that's that's something man yeah. like that's that's real dope so yeah. shout out to Park Heights mm-hmm. shout out to West Side shout out to the know? West Side that's one up you know what I mean shout out to Baltimore in general that's that's up. they told me not to trust people on the East Side but East Side people I still trust y'all a little bit but not <laughs> hey yo that's what they tell you you know any hoods movies yeah. I I have I have I don't know how much I can say because I I have a friend mm-hmm. and she's from the East Side and she's like. In a gang, like she's like a gang leader. Damn, gang. what the fuck? Yeah, I don't want to say the name of the gang because I don't know if I'm supposed Damn, to. Do you know Yo. gangs over there? You know the gangs, right? I mean, no. Because the no, fuck? let me tell you. Because no, really, just in what? Philly, we Yo. don't gang bang. Yeah, so, I ain't think we were still doing that shit here neither. Yeah, y'all gang banging. Y'all get over these. So the look, game, so the where the game. fuck do you, them bitches be at when the fuck you about to get in fights one o'clock down the motherfucking exactly. Baltimore Street? I didn't get jumped in yet, but them my bitches. You See, know what I mean? Like I ain't throwing a setup shit. yet, but I'm just I'm aware of them. Oh my god. You know what I <laughs> mean? No, but um I do love Baltimore. I was really excited about that. And even I feel like I feel like TikTok got, gave a good window for Baltimore. Vine was, remember Baltimore was yeah, huge on Vine when definitely. Vine started popping. Uh-huh. But the original, which is a horrible story, is Freddie Gray. I think that's yeah. what really kind of made everybody yep. look at Baltimore at one time. Definitely. Um, I don't, of course, people at home, you know who Freddie Gray is, I would think. he went. The police took him on something they called a rough ride. Yep. They put you in a paddy wagon in cuffs, not being tied to your bench. And they're driving down the bumpiest streets, trying, attempting to hurt you. And his neck was broken, correct? Neck was broken, yeah. he was He was dead. They killed him. It was nothing. And if I'm not mistaken, they all got off on it uh yeah it was no nah, it was like didn't one of them go to jail none of them you don't know i don't yeah. i don't remember yeah, i know it was a lot of money like, being dispersed and yeah shit. I, it was a lot of shit you know my how was that day. for you where were you and how was that for you to Man. see your city on fire like that listen so my brother um his name is kevin moore his ass actually is the one who recorded it and they locked him up for it and he threw his phone. He got out. Next He's the day, guy that actually recorded when he was getting mm-hmm. arrested. Yep. Wow. Yeah, my brother was behind it. My my big brother. Yeah. And you saying and they locked him up friend. for that? That's yeah. What he got locked up. The for, same thing happened to George Floyd guy. Yep. Yeah. Yep. He they seen him recording and he had threw the phone. And he ran. He got his ass. Locked him up. And he, when he got out, he went to where he threw that fucking phone at and he sent that footage. Yo, why yeah. is it? Because uh, we were joking a little bit before we started about mm-hmm. me leaving the black community and mm-hmm. the struggle. But that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Things like that. It's like, it's 2022, yeah. right? And 
we're all we're, we're we're done with the days where a man will be murdered by the police yeah. or a uh, a group of you know domestic terrorists like who was playing right. Yeah. We we passed that point where you don't know who killed your husband yeah. or who killed your brother. It's yeah. just a rumor or the guys with the hoods came, but you didn't see. Now we get to watch it all on camera, replay, play by different events, and more times than none, the guy that films the the cops doing the dirty deed goes to jail. Why yeah. isn't that like an automatic that these niggas doing something wrong? You I know am. what I'm saying? I have no idea. I don't man. know. It's, it's, it's and then we've <clears throat> we've been very desensitized when it comes to shit like that. Like you can watch somebody's murder, you can watch somebody die, just like you watching a fucking movie now. You know, even with like P and B Rock and like like when he was killed, it was a fucking video where this nigga was still gasping for air. Like you know what I'm saying? And, and people, I'm just like, yo, that's. The sensitism, like nigga, like you're you're kind of the niggas recording it. You're you're standing there. What you can record him dying, like mm -hmm. instead of even trying to help him. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like you recorded his last breath. That's so fucked up. Like right. niggas used to be scared of that type of shit. Exactly like scared of right. dead bodies or uh -huh. like, oh my God, if you saw a murder, you fucked up. You traumatized. Like these kids don't give a fuck. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. That is so sad. I still be thinking about that. Like Yeah. Mm. I saw Spirit a dead body before. Uh, it's unfortunately, I've seen it probably once or twice or something mm -hmm. like that. Maybe mm -hmm. even three times, but mm -hmm. all three times I remember being really scared. Yeah, or trying not to look. Yeah, you know trying I mean? not to look. Like okay, that's what I'm I mean. Like oh shit, that's that's this. bad. That's right. Yeah. And like you said, you almost lose a piece of your like your humanity yep. a little bit yep. because you have to take yourself out of yourself because everything in you is telling you help this person yeah. or tell someone yeah. for help but go get me, help go you are going from nigga, that and you're um, thinking I gotta get this in my iCloud like That's yo deep. I gotta I would be so like I'm so spiritual nigga I'd be scared of shit to have somebody death yeah. in my phone and it's yeah. still in my fucking mm -hmm. phone and I'm gonna go to sleep tonight and my phone right next to me. Yeah, no, I don't even crazy. play with shit like that. It's crazy. That's it's crazy. Yeah, so, um, I, you come from, but you do come from um, a violent city. I'm from Philadelphia. It's, you know, yeah. you, see, you witness yeah. a lot of violence or whatever. I did. Do you feel like it shaped you? Even because we don't have to get into that, of course. But mm -hmm. we were talking a little bit about a situation you had at a club at a section, right? Yeah, yeah. And it, I, I listened to how you responded, mm -hmm. the way you responded, right? Mm -hmm. um, without putting it all the way out there, whatever. Yeah. Do you feel like growing up in a, in a violent city or an area that has tension like that with the police, stuff like that, you think that that like curbs you being um, a little more aggressive, a little more defensive of your body, protective yeah, of your body? Definitely, definitely growing up in Baltimore, just period, just having to, you know what I'm saying, having to be resilient against a lot of shit. And because cause I lived in the hood, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? So... You got to protect yourself in certain times. And I grew up around a lot of guys, too. I didn't grow up around a lot of girls and shit. Okay. I got a lot of guy cousins, boy cousins, homeboys. And, and I would hang around my brothers and my brother and his friends, mm -hmm. shit like that. So that's also how I'm so tough, too. But, like, I don't know. Just I never really had run-ins with the police, but I seen my brother mm -hmm. and his homeboys and my cousins and uncles and shit mm -hmm. go through that thing. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I, it got a lot. It got a lot to do with how I've shaped, how I've been, you and know. How you respond to how things. How I respond to shit, definitely. Yeah. yeah, and then I just don't like nobody fucking playing with me neither. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because in this industry, too, you're a woman. That's that's something but being a black woman. Oh, my God. And then, and then another thing, being short, being small, motherfucker might look at you like you ain't. Yeah. But that's, that's the thing. Like, I've been small all my life, and niggas have been trying me. Bitches been trying me, so try me yeah. like you know what i mean like don't you know and yeah that, that situation with that fucking with that shit with the section yeah <laughs> that bitch try, bitches be trying me about to jack a bitch up yeah you know no nah, and nose yeah. leaves nigga shit yeah. real life listen i talked to you know talk to dre right we yeah and dre have different we grew up differently i would say mm -hmm. and it's like when you it just depends. I guess it just depends on the nature of i'm not even gonna do dre i'll do my kids that make more okay. sense my daughter's 12 never been in a fight Right, oh, okay. my son is almost eight. Never been in a fight. Yeah. You know that challenge where they walk up and they're like, "Hey, somebody's trying to fight mommy." Yeah, you know what I mean, yeah. my son, look me straight now. I call the police. Period. I'm like, "Hey, he got a son." Call two of them. It's two of them. <laughs> call two police. Call two police. Is there now. You go. Now that's more by design than mm -hmm. anything because I made a choice to take them out of the city. Absolutely, I feel like me growing up in a city, it just 
it did create like a, a thick skin and I'm definitely appreciative of it now. Mm-hmm. But to some people, it looks like an overreaction because they're not thinking about hitting you. You understand yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. You could, the way I was raised, you could be talking to me a certain way, getting a certain amount of mm-hmm, clothes, putting, mm-hmm. using your fingers, things like that. Mm-hmm. All that would lead me to punching you. Yep. Because I was raised to punch you yep. if you hit and certain things. my space. Whole time. Becky Ann from Ohio, she ain't ever been in a fight. She's like, you totally overreacted. Yeah. I was trying to yeah. just get, get through to you. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> but you yeah. don't grow because we East Coast girls and right. we are harder. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? That's that I relate to that. Oh. Definitely relate to that. That's why I, that's why I ain't no fucking friends more than <laughs> Yeah. You don't have a lot of friends, Jess? No, hell no. A lot of people look at me and be like, Oh yeah, yeah, I know you got bitch, no. Yeah. I don't have a lot of friends. And sometimes that shit bothers me that I don't. Um mm-hmm. Because I'm a cool-ass, loyal-ass girl, man. Mm. I'm really down to earth. And a lot of people also will judge me because they look at who I am online. Oh, she aggressive as shit. I know shorty, yeah. she probably always want to fight or she always want, you know what I mean? Jazz yeah. get too smart or, you know, when I'm really, I'm really cool as shit. Cool as a fan. Until I'm not. But Ooh. you got to do something. Right. You got to do something for me to not be cool. It, I'm just not going to be like blowing up on you and shit. Right. It's, it's people... People, you know, fuck around and then they find out. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I, so. I think that because what, when I get from that, as you talking about maybe new making new friendships and new relationships. Yeah, 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 yeah. And even letting motherfuckers go, you right. know, that I grew up with, you yeah. know, like. Because people change, don't they? Yeah. People say that the people change. No, motherfuckers, you niggas is changing. What? Like, like bitch. Yeah. Well, and, and, and the more money that you get, like, people think. That that's you changing too, but and I know this is cliche. People say this shit all the time, but no, my money, me getting money, changed you because right. you started asking me for that mm-hmm. shit. You ain't asked me for nothing before I got money, mm-hmm. and I still look out. But then I look out, then I gotta look out again, mm-hmm. and then I gotta look out again. I like people like this. Just look instead of coming to me every month asking me for fifteen hundred, two thousand, whatever. Can you help me? Can you help me start a business? Yo, right. what what can I do with this? All right, what do you like to do? I like to fucking help people, so I'm gonna tell. What do you like to do? I like to. I can do lashes. Go. Okay, let's start. Let's start getting you a, putting your business together. Let's get you an LLC. Let's right. something that you own. Right. Black people need to fucking own. That's mm-hmm. what we need to start doing. Fucking owning this shit. You keep on fucking wanting money to. That's like a slave mentality. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. what the white people do. They give you money and just keep you happy. Just give you just a little bit. Mm-hmm. Just enough to mm-hmm. last until you got to come back and ask again. Well, Fuck I did it. I watched a study. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a, a documentary addict. I have to watch mm-hmm. it. I can watch a documentary about frogs or turtles or whatever. But it's okay. just how I learned because I had ADD jazz. So it's okay. very hard for me to lock in and like got it. read a book or something like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And a documentary is a walking book. It's the best. I got you. Okay, so I was watching a documentary and they did a study on wealth black wealth in this country because as you know all of y'all I hope you know it's a tremendous gap Mm -hmm. as far as how white people being rich and black people being rich especially in the eyes when you talk talk about wealth right Mm -hmm. part of the reason um, when you look at numbers like for instance people that went to college 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 graduates Mm -hmm. most black college graduates that get on this road to success with these careers and these businesses the difference between their white peers are the white peer is one of many, and a lot of time in a black family, you're the only graduate, which mm. makes you the one that people ask for money. Yeah. Just like if you're the only celeb, you are the one that paid for the funeral. You yep. are the one that paid yep. for the family reunion. Mm-hmm. And that's what's different. And that's why statistically, number-wise, not only do we not get the same amount of riches as them, we do not keep it nowhere mm. near how long they'll keep it. They will keep their money within yep. through within generations. Yep. You know what I mean? But with us, sometimes the buck stops here. But I hate, I'm very gentle with my words when I talk about my people. Yeah. Um, Like, hating yourself is a real thing. Yeah. I was just arguing online for 48 hours, I think, with a um, half white, half Mexican girl that um, made a post and she said that, I just wish y'all value yourselves more. Okay. Black people. Okay. Oh. Yeah, she was talking us. to blacks. Oh. She I, said, hey, blacks, I wish. Dear blacks, I see another rapper was slain. I wish oh, y'all shit. loved each other more. Book me if you need my services. And it was Negroes in the comments like, yes, half white Mexican girl, you are right. Yes, we Whoa. need you. How do we book To her? teach us. <laughs> it's like, and it's, you know, for me, it's like, 
when you look at things like that, just that's the way I just explained that with mm -hmm. wealth and how mm -hmm. things are. Things make sense. A lot of this shit isn't, it's no fly by night and we're these lazy yeah. people. It's just fed to you like yeah. that all the time. The good thing about people like me or you, there is so many people that start a business just off watching us. And they're mm -hmm. not comics. Some of them bitches is floors. But yeah. we give people the balls to think, to I can do this yeah. shit. I can change my life. Yeah. I think that has to be out of everything. Probably my favorite part about this. Yeah. The amount of impact that I have on people mm -hmm. positively. Mm -hmm. Even with my loud, raunchy ass. Like, I'm helping motherfuckers. Yeah, you are. You real. And then where you come from. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's like almost looked at that was almost looked at as impossible mm -hmm. to be sitting right here or to be yeah. you got your own show you got yeah. then you're a mother mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. the fuck yeah you know you're taking care of your own people yeah you know I like have my you, own people like my own little tribe yes yeah. like i, I can order them to do shit to people you know what i mean like i can make them a gang and we go out and tag people like if i wanted to i could make us like a whole like a gang like i start a call with them okay because they're mine yeah <laughs> I don't have to send them to school. You, you know what I'm saying? Like I choose I think to. you should. I do. Yeah. I do. I'm just saying if I wanted to then you can have them do a tax on people. Kill people, yeah. Bomb shit. They're yeah. mine. Okay. They have to. Or probably go help people. That's an option. Yeah. You know I what I mean? That should be the one there. Whatever. Um, <laughs> Jess only has one, clearly. I, I do. I'm getting a mob. I want more. How though. many you want total? I'm gonna be honest with you, I want like five kids. Total five kids total and i wanted all boys there was a time where i wanted all boys did you but mm, you gotta have a little chest just one ass. i was there yeah, the, the older i'm getting i'm realizing like, okay I, I do want a little me yes, i want a little mini me so cute. just one though with a lot of attitude yeah that's why i can only do one girl in my house i ain't mm -hmm. with none of that shit. maybe she'll be a virgo look like her father oh my. disrespect you all the time jesus <laughs> <laughs> maybe you'll get that okay god yeah, god whatever um i'm gonna say this girls are cool because the dress up thing and it's uh -huh. beautiful it's pretty me and my daughter are very close she's 12 yeah. but you nobody loves you like your son yeah like the love you get from Hell your boy yeah. is totally different oh my god i'm almost my son's wife he loves me really like, yeah he well, he, he, he legit too. comes into my room 10 times a day to kiss me tell me i'm pretty oh. tell me he love me he proud of me it's is a whole that's so sweet yeah but you do have to have more because ashen is 10 yeah yeah, yeah. first of all you stick it's so i have so much to talk about i'm just gonna try to get it all in because we're that? not going to make it but What's up? i love the fact that you have a good relationship with that boy's father oh yeah i know oh, yeah. you had to put work into that yeah absolutely um years i the best mm -hmm. i've ever done with my baby daddies mm -hmm. plural okay, okay. Well, you know first you don't okay. succeed <laughs> <laughs> dust the dick off and try again hey yo um, no but when i did have it right mm. it was all me jazz yeah. Like, yo, it was like, I had to be the bigger person. Yeah. Um, I still do. I definitely have a better relationship with my ex than, you know, my other kids, dad mm -hmm. or whatever. Um, But we got more things accomplished. You know what I mean? Yeah. He was just more of a, like a man. Like he yeah. knew what he wanted. I, there was no raising him. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um, For sure, I'll say that I couldn't see either one. He couldn't handle this. Okay. And when you first said about you, you know, wanting friends and being a little frustrated about it because people think you're one way, that's yeah. what I get from men. Like, men are very okay. aggressive in their approaches with me. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like people like us, we have offended so many men without yes. knowing it. Yes. That some of these niggas got, like, a point to prove the day they yeah. meet you. Unintentionally, we do it, but that's how they, yeah. 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 And that sucks because, like, yo, I know. by all means, this is a job. Like we bring ourselves, but bro, this is not us twenty four seven. Yeah. Like yeah. niggas are soft. Like you, you do that that man thing. You pay them bills and you teach me something and you pray for me. Yeah, like you gonna get a soft to me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> get sexy on them, okay? Get them like I suck dick. I bring you your plate and everything. People will be shocked because not only am I not so aggressive with like my lover. Yeah, I am literally like um. I'm submissive to a yeah. server. Like I'm server, kinda. and I like that. Yeah. I like that too. I'm like that too. Like I sometimes, like you know, I like to initiate and all of that. But like yeah. sometimes, like we like for a man to bring that softness out of us right. too. Though it's like right. we don't want to be hard up. We can, right. but it's just like I, you know, you that nigga if you can bring the softness out of Jeff. Listen, like listen, Joe Scott said once. 
if you can tell me what to do, mm-hmm. you can tell me what to do. And yeah. it's, if you yeah. don't get it, you ain't going to get it. Nope. It's not something that you can force. And with me, they just give, they they swear I want this tough, hard-ass nigga. I'm yeah. talking like yeah. punching the arm. Come on. Like, nigga, no. <laughs> like, be nice to me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I'm not like corny, super corny, but bro, like, I'm soft-hearted. You know yeah. how we get down. Aquarius yeah. are like, mm-hmm. and it's like, We'll give it out differently. So it might be a knife, like mm. through your arm or your leg. Nothing crazy like the chest. But I really just needed a hug and I want to cry. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you know what I'm talking okay. about. I mean, I'm a, I'm a little I'm a little less savage than that. I might two piece a nigga. Okay. I'm not going to stab you. You've just never stabbed because... one person, not one. I knew it. Don't lie, Jess. We can cut it out, but I know you already. I don't have to talk to you to know you, love. You're born on the 13th, okay? Are you born in the 80s? I don't do that shit no more. Are you born in the 80s? No, 90, point? 92. Are you? Yep, 92. Young motherfucker. I know, I'm 30. Damn. Yo. Young as shit. You got so, an older soul. Don't do me like that, though. Yeah, yeah. I got older soul. I'm Jess with the mess, and my news is real. And you know it. Did I do good? You did. I'm Jess with the mess, and my news is real. <laughs> Stop, sidebar, I want to talk about that. When they would compare me to her all the time, Dre, right? Mm-hmm. That's That would be my first thing. Like, yo, for somebody to do, I told this to her and I'm going to say it again. For a person to be able to do that many characters, right, in cadence, on time, right, back to back to back funny, mm-hmm. right? That's really a talented person. Not saying that I'm not talented, but that's not my thing. Like, yeah. creating characters and having, this lady already had these people, like, kind of lined up. I just, yeah. I felt like... Especially where you were already then, like yeah. you're following. I just think it's kind of like disrespectful. I feel like mm-hmm. if you were, if you had a penis, they would never do that. But that's this game. Yeah, like the fact that we're women. When you're a girl here, it's like, oh, please. You got to put I, somebody up against somebody. Yeah. yeah. I've had stand-up comics tell me, you can't do stand-up. You don't, you just think. It's like, nigga, no, I can do, like, I'm good. You know what I mean? Yeah. But that's just. That's the experience that I've Somebody had. has told you that? Somebody, a Comedian? comic that everybody in here knows has told me that to my face. And so many people's writers follow me and so many people. And I, sometimes yeah. I might catch my joke, you know what I mean, here and there, no shade. But in the Child, game that we that in, shit. just mm-hmm. listen, first of all, comedy, black comedy is extremely male dominated. Absolutely. Um, my experience is these motherfuckers want to, pay you nothing they mm-hmm. want to get you on the bill they want to mm-hmm. use your popularity to sell tickets yep. half the time they want to fuck you yep. and they want to underpay you really really low compared yep. to everybody else yep. my first show my first stand up show I ever did um, he told me convinced me that nobody was paid on the bill and I did it for free I took oh, it as a bucket yeah. list thing when I got off a of stage I kid you not I was the opener mm-hmm. the whole crowd left with me because the whole crowd bought the ticket to see me mm-hmm. so they just came to get their meet and greet on with the girl that they came to see yep. The rest of the six comments had nobody to tell a joke to. The promoters mm-hmm. had to ask me, can you please stop taking pictures and sit here so some of them could sit. Yeah. Still, they had told jokes to two rows of people because the people came to see the girl. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. me having that experience when I first show, it was vital because then I knew like type of power I yep. got. Yep. Now, the difference between us and other traditional comics or old school comics, you work at 5, 10, 15, 20 years, working these clubs. Sometimes you never really get nothing out of yeah. it. Here and there, you might get a couple movie roles. Yep. If you're lucky, you get a legendary movie role in a Friday or something yep. like that mm-hmm. that you can get your career bumping off of. Yep. But for the most part, you do doing a lot of work for a little bit of nothing. It's a passion thing. Mm-hmm. Unlike bitches like us yep. who have hundreds of thousands of millions of followers, yes. you can go to Albuquerque, yep. go on your motherfucking social media and say, mm-hmm. hey, bitch, meet me in Albuquerque is mm-hmm. a drink special That's and you right. packing that motherfucker, motherfucker and they all coming to see you and guess what, what? you ain't even got to tell a motherfucking joke you can call a goddamn meet and greet sit in the corner and drink champagne and bitches and still pay and to be in the building with you get fucking money literally that's uh-huh. that's the type of beast that we are now mm-hmm. like that and, and a lot of a lot of OGs really can't fucking deal with that shit because yeah. they didn't have this wave then and and I feel for that, but then I also be like, y'all can't be bitter, y'all can't be upset with us for that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, do you nigga, feel? Because is that the vibe that you feel? Because that's what I feel. I've gotten that. Oh, okay. I've gotten that. Um, when I first got on, yeah, I've been uh, niggas attempted to underpay me. They um, it is it's it's motherfuckers be like, I don't want to say rumored, but people always be, oh yeah, she hard, not hard to work with, but. A lot of people will not book me because they know I will not 
take a certain amount of pay. Like niggas would be like, oh no, 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 we we gonna hit right. We gonna hit such and such because Shorty be on that bougie shit. Child. All right, cool. I'll be bougie if you want. I'm not gonna be bougie and fucking broke, to be mm. honest with you. I'm not ready to do that. Cause to be honest with you, I I'm putting the seats. I'm putting the asses in the seats to this the motherfucking show. Line. You a OG. You booked an arena. And you can't fill this bitch up yourself. You can't. You mad because I want 25000 to do 15 mm-hmm, minutes. Mm-hmm, I'm worth that. Mm-hmm. You're going to make so much more money other than that. Mm-hmm. Just let me do my little 15. Mm-hmm. Give me my 25. Mm-hmm. I'm not taking no pictures. Mm-hmm. I'm going to do 15 because they're going to come back. I'm going to come back and fill this motherfucker up mm-hmm. next year. Mm-hmm. Or or do two theater shows in the same city. I'm like, stop playing with me. Like, I'm worth it. Like, mm-hmm. and I'm selling out your show. You might as well. Listen, I people, it's to the point where unless you already in that kind of field, I don't even let regular niggas try to book me. Because when they say 10 minutes, how much for 10 minutes of stand up? And I tell them, them niggas be almost angry, don't they, fellas? They be like, what? Yeah. Oh, fuck it. Never mind. And it's like, nigga. I don't even have to tell these people I'm going to come. And they going to come, Do motherfucker. you know who this girl is? Like, you know, you have your... Like, what? Yeah. But what? that's what that, but that's just how this shit go. Listen, you'll be... When I first came out, I approached some of the Philly legendary people. And okay. I... Like, yo, I'm doing this. Gotcha. I would like to open for you, maybe. Or, you yeah. know, I just wanted to say what's up. Nigga straight, no. One nigga told me, look, you buy some tickets to my show, come to my show for a couple months, and then I'll add... I'll um let you open for me. So I'm supposed to buy his tickets to the show every weekend for months to watch him do comedy. Mm-hmm. It's before he would let to even look at what I had to you know what mm-hmm, I'm saying mm-hmm. them same niggas my hand to God or in my DM one night one guy just wrote me and yes I did look at your message I didn't open it boop boop that hurts <laughs> cause you in the accepted section and I don't want to accept you daddy so you'll be right they're waiting and you can't even tell if I looked at it. But I did. Anyway, um, I op- he the guy said to me, um, look, you need to do it for the culture. Come get this money. Stop being scared to do stand up. Scared to do stand up. Mm. Nigga, I've done a few shows. I, I, I trotting at my own pace. And it's yeah. about the paper. It's yeah. nothing but the money. Yeah. I refuse to do it for and it's like I wanna my friend Derek's the comic, where is he? The one with the head shaped like that? There he is. Oh wow. Um I love you. Let me see. He, his head shaped like a triangle. Where? But he's very intelligent. He okay. real black too, so you okay. can't see him. Okay. Thank exactly. God he don't got a mic because he okay. can he tell jokes a little, he a little bit funny. But <laughs> um he's from Boston. He's a comic and he is in those rooms and yeah. he has internet um uh, internet presence. I feel like it depends where you are. Yep. Um Derek always calls himself like a student in the game, like he's trying to learn as much as he can, and you gonna get that in them Absolutely. comedy clubs, but yo. When I put shit on the internet, the motherfuckers come and they right up under that That's shit. Right. And they're communicating with me. And I learned really fast kind of how to like what was funny and what made sense because yeah. of live. Yeah. Now, it was like, you could say what the fuck you want, mm-hmm. but that's how you know it's not even about them commenting you know when when you're a comedian and you they come on live they're looking for you to be funny right away yep. so when you're not funny the whole live leaves so it's yeah. like when your number is getting bigger and bigger because people are sharing it and you going the fuck off mm-hmm. why are you being weird to me like a billion a majillion Crazy. people saw that. that's a lie that's a 31 Crazy. minute live me getting my shit off yep. you know what i mean so yep. like for me i just i do feel like they closed the door and they not really open them and it don't matter i kicked my own door yeah. i made my own path my own door my own highway yep. And I'm going exactly where I want to go. And I know exactly going. what I want. For me, Jess, I do want that 45 to an hour special. I yeah. do feel like it's going to yeah. change the game for this shit, especially yes. for female comics. I feel like we need more raw, raunchy shit mm-hmm. that look good, shit mm-hmm. that we grow up with. Yeah. That's not represented. It's no. not represented in comedy right now where you can really see that girl that talk that shit, like yeah. that real shit. Yeah. Everything is so like glossy or gimmicky or yeah. characters. The bitch is coming out in wigs. You, Listen, you gotta I'm be your telling grandma. you right now on fucking stage, you come to my show, you gonna hear everything you just said. Mm-hmm. I ain't with none of that. I will go out that motherfucker. I do not dress like this really? on stage. Hell no. You'll never see me in a pair of heels. You will you never see me and know what? I'm going to wear a sweatsuit. Really? I come out and what you have on, mm-hmm. like chilling. Yeah. Like I'm not... I'm not about to be pretty. Sometimes I won't even Why? do makeup. I don't want. I don't want to be glammed up. And okay. I got a nice ass body. Okay, yeah, like yes, look I the fuck you. good and all of that. But <laughs> yo, right. But if I come out and the way my the way I talk and the way we are, like we 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 raw, we nineties, we mm-hmm. we material, we got relatable material. We not talking about shit that you go see on Instagram. We right, talking right. about everyday life shit, like how mm-hmm. we grew up, being parents and shit like yeah. that hood shit. 
I can't go out there and give you that in a pair of heels, in a pair of leggings, tight as a bitch, titties out, ass crack, top of my ass crack, showing up. Because now the nigga's not paying attention right. to what I'm saying. Right, right. I have a lot of men that come to my shows, too. Mm -hmm. I don't only just have, uh, like, I'm not only dominant in women. My, my shit be 50 50. Is it? Men, women, old, like, my age range is from what, 25 to fucking 65? Uh -huh. Like, and this is men. Hood niggas and all that shit, they be wanting to hear this shit right, right here. Right. Like not, hey yo, what's that? I suck your dick. Like they, they don't want. Like I've had um, people nah. tell me they don't think I should get my body done because of that. Yeah. That it would why? be distracting to um, my jokes. But the reason why is because when I look down, I want to see my cat and not this. You well, you can so do that without getting surgery, and I'm getting chopped Mona. off because I want to see my pussy on a regular basis. You can I do that. Look down, and I want to be able to separate my. T I want my titties to be so fake that they go like this for me, and then I can you look down be, and see my pussy. Oh, oh, I'm so like a wanna, robot. Okay, yeah. So how I, many surgeries you think you're gonna need to have? Three, for four, that? five, four, five, five. Okay, well let me tell you about my friend Spice. Oh my God. Mm hmm. What if I done this? Come on, that shit ain't go right. Cut this out if everything ain't go right. <laughs> prayers to her, but shit, you know what I mean? Yikes. Listen, be rough. listen. Um, no, but I really, it's so many things that can go wrong with that surgery shit. Now, like, I know I didn't have me a motherfucking BB. I know bitches like, oh, you had a BB? Oh, you had your titties done? All that shit, yeah, but I went one time and I just, yeah. I don't, so I don't, many I don't women like tell the, me don't do it. Yeah, I don't like the All repeat All my friends offender. that had it say don't do it. That's what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, and, and then to be honest with you, it's, it's possible for motherfuckers to like who had surgery to be like yo i wish i didn't have it yeah i really wish i didn't have it because it don't even fucking look like i got one which to be doing? honest that's with good you. Then. thank you i have a i have a, i have an athletic build anyway that was just uh -huh. how the fuck i'm born and shit take that out to my father whatever yeah. but i always wanted hips never had, man i'm talking about i was gina off martin forever still yeah. a little genery yeah. but but you are are you is. satisfied with it like the results were you satisfied because you look good it doesn't no. look natural but that's a good thing but that's no, not popular. I'm not satisfied, but that yeah, listen, that's not, the potential looks not what people like. People yep, like the people unhandsome. like the that's the thing, and that's why so many girls are so built fucking funny now because uh -huh. they wasn't happy. With, so they keep going back. You got repeat offenders and shit yeah. going back, yeah. going back, going back, and shit. And now Dream it's like, she went damn, like thirteen times or ten times. Dream Doll's Dream Doll, been that many went, times. Yeah, yeah. She and, said that the problem would be is. Cause that's the thing, and this is when she wrote it. She was literally talking to people. She's yeah. like, "Y'all say my thighs don't match, so when I go to make my thighs match, and every time I work out to keep myself tight, I lose my legs again. So then you have to do it again. But it's yeah, like, it's like a whole there, process. That's like crazy. that was a that's the real thing. I'm glad that she actually shared that shit. That's what the mind process is. Like these bitches not going down, laying down, wanting to wake up like that. That's just how that shit end up. Mm. Like yo, you start looking at. Like, start looking at Kylie Jenner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I felt like she was good. She could have stopped. Yeah. Like, ain't, I'm not saying it's not it's something wrong with surgery. It's just when you keep, when you can't leave that yeah. shit alone. Yeah, like, addictive. Black China is addicted to it. She says it. Like, yeah. yo, sometimes she go when she bored. Yeah. Sometimes she go, she don't even need nothing, she go. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. that shit is an addiction. Yeah. You know, you look at Kim. Kim, beautiful as shit. But, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, that's not how people like to look. Yeah, it, it's a it's a it's a thing. It's called bodily dysmorphia disorder. Uh -huh. You'll never look in the mirror and be comfortable. It's always gonna be something else to fix. You going? Uh -huh. I can look in the mirror. Oh, my forehead too big. Go get a forehead reduction. Go back now. Oh shit! Now that made my nose too big. Go back. Get your nose done. Right. Then oh my god, my cheeks. Is, you know, yeah. it's especially it's always gonna be something you all find the time. Wrong. Yeah, yes. and constantly, so, constantly, yeah. constantly. The people did that to you know. People did that, yeah, to you know what I'm saying? People, yeah. Like, and then also look, and look then at, they critique you for that. After yeah, they yeah. You for it. And then look at look at uh like the the Jenner girls and shit. Mm -hmm. Kylie, she, Kylie and Kendall, they was born into that shit. Yeah. They looked at their three sisters. Mm -hmm. Well, Kim, cause Courtney ain't had shit done, I guess. Well, right, Kim and Courtney, right. you know, they looked at that them. If y'all. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, well, Come yeah, on. exactly. They yeah, look at the mother. Look at they look at their mother. Like and they both their mothers. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Right. They have two mothers. Look at their mothers. Mothers. Yep. Said. Look at them. Yeah, she fucking fucked up with that one. Yeah. yeah, look at their mothers and shit. Like you see? Yeah. Like, so yeah. Kendall says she didn't have nothing done either, but Kylie, she's like shit. I was like the ugly duckling. That's how she felt. 
Uh, no I lips. Say no. Kylie was the ugly duckling, but no, she was I'm not. That's how shit. she felt. She I'm, was ugly as a motherfucker. She was an ugly little girl. Is that you can't right. say that? Take it out. If no, you can't say it, take it out. Cool. But she was ugly as shit though. Okay. She was. Yeah. Like when they and, go back to the pictures, they're like, "Oh, look at how you used to look." I'm like, "Bravo!" Like you did that. You know what I'm you saying? Look amazing. But Thank see, God. but see, I felt like there was a time that she should have stopped because now she's starting to look like Michael Jackson. Mm. You know, and I'm like, damn. The features for me are just so fucking black. Yeah. Like, you are you are a yeah. Negro. Wow. Yeah. Like, Trying. that's what you applied for. Yeah. Wow. Yep, applied. But that's why it's don't call me no white girl. You know yeah, what I mean? I see. Like, I trying see. to be like us. You know I what I mean? I get more, these the lips more from my father. About, I see it. Listen. These I, lips from my grandmother. Hmm. Hmm. Listen. I ain't, I ain't played in my face. I got I got all this from my mother and my father. So, yeah, you're damn right. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Um... How do I got these see. hips from my father? Let's go, let's go backwards, right? So I shared with you earlier. I didn't know I wanted to do this. I didn't know anything about this. Is this something you always wanted to do? Well, um, yeah, the entertainer. The, oh no, to be honest with you, I thought you meant like to, like the podcast. I was gonna say not like this. Nah, how to start? How does it start? Okay, so look, I wanted to actually model because I always been photogenic. I can walk. I, I love to like I love a little catwalk. I always wanted to be a model. Okay. I photograph well, but. I always just been really funny too, mm -hmm. but I still never thought that that would land me to be a comedian. Right. You know, I, that was just something that I've always possessed a, a humorous personality. You like, got the whole room laughing all the time. What? Wherever all you the at. time, yeah. even at funerals, funerals of family members and shit, like right. weddings, like all class. I was class clown. I was smart as shit, but I was a class class clown. I would get done my work and then start playing around, roasting motherfuckers and just playing and shit mm -hmm. everywhere. So. It started, I couldn't keep a job or whatever, and I was living with my mom. She was like, you can go to college. I'm like, all right, cool. So I went to school for mortuary science. I did one semester wow. in college, mortuary science and shit. So you went to school for that, and that would have made you a funeral director when you were finished? Uh, a coroner. A coroner. Yep, I wanted to be able to, yeah, a embalm funeral director. motherfuckers. And, cut that yeah, out, yeah, not, not, No, don't cut it out. Cut Leave that, that dumb out. ass shit in Please there. Please cut that Fucking out, Fucking the funeral director shit. Dang. Gotta go to school for that. So you was going, <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> the fuck I'm tired. I don't get out of sleep. Please. So you were gonna be a funeral I the, director. I went to public schools. Okay? And me too, nigga. <laughs> Damn, I shit ain't looking right. Look, no, <laughs> no, um, it's so you all good. Be, but I yeah, can't believe you wanted to be a corner. Yeah, I couldn't believe I did either, yo. And then I that was short lived because when I was doing my clinicals or whatever, right? You know, we had to do like a certain amount of hours, like an internship at funeral homes uh -huh. and shit, and you had to embalm. You know what I mean? All that. Was it rough? And nigga, what? If you put too much embalming fluid in a certain limb of the body, like the other ones would lift and like the other limbs and they would be dead. But it's just like too much of that embalming shit. What you'll see a leg go up and, yes. and then, you know, sometimes um it's too you let too much air in it, so the the body a burp or the fart, fart or the yeah. bitch and listen. A damn I'm not far as none rough, of that. Huh? None of it's that. It's really smelly. No, it's not smelly at all. It's just wow. scary. It's just like nigga die already. Like damn, yeah, bro. niggas still be looking like they breathing. A, a body could take a deep breath if it wanted to, <laughs> bitch. Like nigga. nah, that's why you got to be careful with the embalming shit. You got to make sure you mix it properly. Make sure you don't that shit don't ingest too much air. Like cause that shit gonna come out. Oh my and, god. And I quit after that day. Did you at the clinicals? Fuck all that. Yeah, yeah. They, them niggas ain't see me no more. So yeah, I, I was it. like, fuck it. I'm going to just be a comedian. Because you're not going to know you can't do it until you really Hell can't no. fucking do nope. it. So I'm going to just be a comedian is what I said. So you literally just start putting shit on the internet. Let me try it like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And this was back when uh, videos was 15 seconds. Okay. Um, remember when Instagram, yeah, they was 15 second videos. And I was trying to figure out ways I could be funny in 15 seconds and shit. And I, I, I had this desk job at this uh, PRP company. I used to work with kids. And... um. I was a receptionist in the uh, early afternoon, I mean, in the morning. And then when they would get out of school, I would go out in the field with the kids and shit. But, yo, I was making videos. I was putting videos on Instagram. They was going viral. And then I got fired from my job for making videos in the office. What they saw in the background? They would see the shit. They'd be like, yo, that's you at your desk. I'm like, that's not, that's not at here. That's not at right. the job. They like... Nigga, that's my office right there. Like, right. like yeah. So I'm like, all right. And it was like, keep making videos. You're going to be fine. And I kept making them, yo. And I got fine. Damn. Yeah. And then. What year did you start, Jess? Oh, 2014. 14, I'm about to say. 2014. Yeah, yep, yeah. 2014. And then um, the year I got fired, I was like, shit. 
I got to do something now. Like, yeah. cause I couldn't. So I started like scamming and then still being funny. Yeah. And then at the while that shit, um, got fucked up cause I had to go to jail. Damn, and did then, you? Yeah, it was stupid. Okay. And then <laughs> I took that picture with my son. That went viral. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Corey Holcomb started talking his shit. Yo, I started I, talking my shit. Listen, and that's how I got on Wildin' Out, and it was up from there. Yo, okay, just to bring it back. I don't know, Dre. You might use the picture. People don't know the picture. Yeah, she does a maternity, not a maternity shoot, but like a mommy son shoot. No, yeah, shoot. yeah, mommy son shoot. Yep. You know, basically, in with your top. I was naked. I yep, I was naked. Like I'm talking about ass naked. I don't right. give a fuck, nigga. He came out of me, so yeah, I was naked, but he wasn't. So I was naked. I had on a pair of cement for us. Jeez, yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. yeah. yeah. What, yo? Yeah. Hold up. You don't don't try. <laughs> don't say, bitch, you was naked with a pair of Jordans on, just sitting there? Yeah. yeah. You've never seen it? But then, it, man, yeah, it definitely one of the viral. cutest like pictures, right? It really, I think for the most part, what it did was it created this huge debate. Yeah. And, I, and it's only because. And he had on shorts, and he had on his cement fours with his uh, Jordan socks, and I had on my Jordan socks and shit. Yeah. And he was sitting on me, he was covering me, so you couldn't see nothing, no body parts, no nothing. Nothing about it alarmed me. I just didn't get what yeah. the fuss was about. Yeah. But, oh, yeah. And then. They they started fucking coming at me about that. Yeah. All for Sierra to do the neck do the same shit. The same thing. With yeah. Baby Future. Yeah. But yeah. but Russell Wilson, yeah. not even his biological father, uh -huh. was in the picture too. All three of their ass naked. Uh -huh. Naked. Fuck you talking about. Yeah. And he got his hand coming through her butt cheeks. Yeah. Up on the baby back, like that was that was a is, lot. You know black I mean? people are just we're like, just creative, on, and we like to do things big, yeah. and we like you know. So, um, yeah. But that's the but that's the thing about being a limelight. I don't think people mm -hmm. understand. So many people envy the positions that we yep. get in, but you don't know how that feels that nah. you can't even take a picture with your son without possibly being critiqued by yep. millions of people. Yep. People were damn right outraged about the picture she took with her child. It was like crazy, that's it was crazy. crazy. That shit was yo. Wild. That nigga, that nigga said. I mean, we 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 a little mutual now, but that nigga Who, was Corey? like Corey Holcomb, yo. That Corey, motherfucker was like, listen, what? for me, right? Mm -hmm. He's aggressive with it, yeah. and it's a certain nastiness to mm -hmm. it that has nothing to do with this picture. And yeah. to me, because I don't know that nigga, but yeah. it's just he always screamed like a jealous, like a yeah, bitch ass he's, he's nigga, like a jealous like that. person. Like that's how that's how his stand up is. That's how his fucking comedy is. All yeah, of that shit. It's but a like, nastiness to that it. That nigga, yeah, that nigga reposted my fucking picture and was like, "See, this is why we have a bunch of uh, gay niggas growing up because of no. black black whores like this." Damn, that's what I mean though. His shit is so extreme. Black you know whores. what I'm saying? So Damn. I went the fuck black horse. That's crazy. I wasn't even tripping off the black horse part. I was tripping off that he said my son would be like he said, like, that's why we have so many gay men like in what? our community because of, uh, of pictures. Black whores mm -hmm. as their mothers. That's uh, that's why we have yeah, a lot of gay men. Yeah. Bitch, I went in on that nigga for three days straight. Nick yeah. Cannon hit me like, you wanna be on Wall No? <laughs> Your motherfucking yeah. roasting skills is crazy. Yeah. And I went up there. This was when Corey Hogan was on Wild and Out. So I'm like, fuck yeah, I'm trying to go. I'm spitting this nigga face. Like, I just was on some whole yeah. other shit. Yeah. I was on some other shit, man. This nigga, man. So y'all cool and, now? No, we're not cool. Okay. Um, It was. So what I say mutual is, I mean, uh, neutral. I didn't neutral. even say Yeah. We, we're neutral now because he, uh, he might like open up for like like a tour that I'm on and shit like that. Yeah. We've never been able to do it because he'll be on it and then he won't be on it. It's like niggas are booking, but then they he'd be off the show. Yeah. But yeah, like at first I would say, <laughs> yo, I'd never fucking be on a stage with you. That nigga had made a video like you can open up for me, and then it was a show where he was opening up like for me. Of course he was. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's 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 going back to what you were saying about the OG shit and the high yeah. niggas like mm -hmm. hate on how we made it and yeah. shit. Like that yeah. nigga was saying I was stealing jokes and I stole one of Dave Chappelle jokes. Or, like nigga, I didn't even grow up on stand-up comedy. Mm -hmm. I didn't even expect to be doing this shit. I started yeah. looking at that shit when I became one. Yeah. You feel yeah. me? Just so I can know no what not man. to steal or what to say or what not to do and shit like but that. But just no man calls out another man for stealing jokes. Man. And stealing jokes is a very popular thing, especially where we come from on the internet. Absolutely. For the love of God, the whole app of TikTok mm -hmm. is for, I used to have to really Listen, break yeah. that shit down to my mother. My mother would call me, Demona, you got to get on this app. These motherfuckers Fuckers are all talking like you and they got a million. I said, Mom, oh, that's how they do it. She ain't even know. Yeah, like yeah. the voiceover. But 
just her being a 50 something year old black woman she's like Demona why would a million people like that if you said it and they're just uh-huh. re-saying it I'm like yeah. that's just how it it's is now that's what's world, supposed to be mom. entertaining yeah. you know and she's just trying to watch out for your, your, your shit my mom don't play about me I said look copyright that shit <laughs> fuck you talking about <laughs> for a bunch of voiceovers but no I did peep that you are real good you know Philly people say bitten you mm-hmm. wore Meek Mills out one time when he had them little jeans on with his yeah, ankles man. out yeah man I wore him out hella times just for being who he is yo that nigga really was playing with me at one time <laughs> but we actually cool now yeah, though cool. we yeah hell yeah when he had came home from jail from doing remember when they was uh yeah, you got locked up for the bullshit. marching outside uh the fucking jail like he was joe clark and shit i uh-huh. remember that shit mm-hmm. and when he came home i jumped in his dm i was like yo welcome home man and he was like oh shit oh all right thank you jazz it's good that you know and i seen him at the bt awards like a year after that, he was with Chino. You know Chino, Baltimore mm-hmm, and shit. Right, he signed and we Chino. we all cool. Everybody cool. So he was like, what's yeah. up, Jazz? What's up? Chino, your people's right? I'm like, yeah. And we all spoke and everything was cool. Yeah. But yeah, that nigga was mad. That nigga was like, I'm going to have my little sister beat your ass mm-hmm. up for like a, a bag of chips. I was like, damn, little <laughs> sister a crackhead, nigga? You know but when. Yeah, yeah. You know when. Because if you are able to talk that shit, yeah. you know that it really sets motherfuckers off. Yeah. Especially men. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they can't really handle it from women. Mm-hmm. And I feel like, again, I don't want to keep talking about dick that I don't really get a lot of. But Damn, it's fucked up. <laughs> sometimes I think I'll never get a boyfriend because they think I'm a clown. Like, they scared that you're going to get them in the bedroom and their sex ain't going to be good and then you're going to talk about them. But I would never talk about them. Like, you I definitely would, with. Mona. <laughs> a yes, little bit, but not to Yeah, exactly. People. The fuck? Yo. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like a little bit, like a little, like a little mm-hmm. healthy joust. Like, yo, you bit it, man, motherfucker. So what the fuck are you looking for, though? Okay. I would like a dark skinned man with a medium sized like penis, okay. not too big, okay. very generous. Mm-hmm. He only had to have a car. I want his whole life to be dedicated All to right, me. All right, wait a minute. He could cut his mother off, his children off, everybody be up my ass constantly, like help me write jokes, carry all my shit mm-hmm. around. You know what I mean? Yeah. If I start rapping, he background dancing. Anything I do, he on there, eat my butt every single day. Okay. And he's a Libra. Okay, you want an assistant. If he, he could read good, but he ain't got to be able to write good. Jesus. I don't care about all that. He don't have no dreams, no goals, just my dreams. I want a nigga I wake up in the morning, he got a projector screen. I'm like, baby, I've been thinking about your career. All shit for me, constantly. (laughs) One motherfuckers to be like, damn, you ain't call your mom, my birthday passed. Again, damn, Debbie. Call Debbie, babe. Tell her happy birthday. Mona, no. That's not, that can't happen. Whatever. But that's what I'm looking for. You're not, you're going to be single forever. No, don't say that. If you, if the fuck you looking for that? You don't want a nigga with no, his own fucking ambition. I want his backbone to be like that. See? It's his uh-uh. backbone. I don't, uh-uh. need to, I don't no. want to sit in the car like this. No. He's just so beat for my... Yo ass need a nigga that have you like that. I might get a bitch. See? Mm. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. Have you ever? No, not yet. But I'm on my way. Okay. You know what I mean? I'm opening the DMs back. Who would you? Who, who would you? Like... I would fuck a young man type of bitch. You know what I young, mean? Young man. Okay. But I would much rather mm-hmm. like a, um, let me think, like a Kylie or something. And I'd be like, bitch, shut the fuck a up. A Kylie? Please. Yeah. Jenner? All in. Like somebody, I don't know if that's the right one, but like somebody dippy, somebody like a pushover. Oh, like a ditzy bitch. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, and I wear the braids, yeah. I wear the strap, and I'm like, yo, yeah. shut the fuck up and give me your three digits off your debit card. Definitely. Stop okay. fucking playing with me. Yeah, like a Kylie. And put your card on my auto pay. Wow. Like, tch. like I want my, you pay for shit at the phone, boop, her car pop up. But you saying, saying you don't want, you don't want for people to think that you aggressive all the time? No, I don't, because I'm really kind. <laughs> hey, yo. my softer side. That's right. Okay. I didn't have a father, Jess. You need like a... Dad. Yes. I know. Yes. yes. Exactly. Yes. What else? <laughs> you need um, like a dad. So are you yes. single right now? No. Ooh, I mean, when we get off here, can you tell me who it is when we get off? Yeah. Is he famous? Mm-mm. Oh, good. I mean, people know who he is, though, but yeah. he's not famous, though. De- do people know about your relationship? Is it out? Yeah. It, well, who the fuck is so it? People don't- <laughs> so I did a VH1 couples retreat with him. Dang. Oh, you did? I did. I did. The older nigga, 40-year-old nigga. I fucking know him, I think, a little bit or something. Well, there you go. 
She from Baltimore. Look it up real yeah. quick. Jay, look it up. Text it to me. Let me see real fast. I think I know him. <laughs> I can't remember because I can kind of remember faintly. Mm. Because this is the thing. If I'm a fan of somebody, I don't watch those kind of situations. You know why? Like those kind yeah. of things because I just hate to see like, yeah. like I be, I'm always like nervous it's going to be a bad thing. So I just won't watch it. You know what I mean? Yeah, listen, listen, listen. I, I, It was a bad thing to show. Because your last relationship that it was out there, they were like always on your ass. Like Child. I asked you that off camera, actually on camera how does it feel to be in a blog every fucking week people make trying to make you the bit about Listen, something that used to be something that niggas enjoyed doing okay oh shit you made the blog You're okay cool okay cool whatever whatever everybody love you and then you look up one day you want the blogs constantly and shit for negative shit and mm. now niggas hate you yeah. this the the very thing that niggas loved me for that everybody loved me for my my fans and everything and people just regular motherfuckers who ain't my fans they just they love me for the same thing they fucking hate hate me for. Right. I turn around and now, oh, you you a fucking troll. All you do is talk about people. It's like, damn, when I was doing just with the mess, y'all was on my dick. Right. Now, I'm now it's like, oh wow. Now every everybody's so sensitive now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So shit should get a little hard. Yeah. Speaking you know? of sensitive, I did want to bring up because I said we we had a conversation the the c word the cancel word mm-hmm. i was partially canceled i made a really silly comment some months back i said i did not feel supported by the black um by the gay community at all it wasn't true and the, okay. and the issue of it not being true is i was talking about white people and i didn't differentiate and i didn't make it a, a, a thing to really make sure people knew what i was talking about i talk really fast um, I am creative and things come to me quickly so sometimes mm. I find myself brrr, mm. and I'm not slowing down enough because if you're not one of my niggas you, you're not going to understand what I'm saying like yeah. I literally have to articulate myself mm. and slow down I've even thought about taking speech classes because yeah. I do have an accent you yeah. know what I mean even though a lot of music is a Baltimore accent but it's <laughs> mixed in a little and I do have an accent people misunderstand me but I had an immense amount of support from mm. the gay community and they legit felt hurt I mean okay. it was 24 or 48 hours 72 hours of just them wearing me down okay please eradicate light-skinned women now y'all are the dumbest bitches on earth this is the 50th light-skinned bitches say something dumb this year um what about when we did this this and that did it? but in between that yeah. i really kind of got the feeling of hurt now you know my original the origin of my response is your mother's a whore and your bitch. grandma ain't got no hair and That's you're a bald head bitch and so, I'll punch you in your motherfucking so. face at the next gay motherfucking yeah. event nigga you wanna fight we can fight Sheila I call you by All what right. you want and I'll bust your motherfucking where ass where are you when this was happening, did anyone PG choose County, to stop her? PG she... County, but okay. guess what Jess what? I stopped I only cussed probably a thousand, two thousand people out nothing crazy, then it hit me yo, get apologetic bitch you fucked up and that's the difference between me and a lot of motherfuckers because when I see the air in my ways, I'm going to say, sorry, nigga, and I fucking meant it. I love you with them purple boots, nigga. Yeah. I love you, nigga. Yeah. I ain't trying to hurt you. I fuck with you, boy. This is what I, this is, this is exactly what I know happened. I know this all too well. It ain't even what the fuck you said that got you, like, canceled. Mm-hmm. It's your rebuttal when they fucking canceled mm-hmm. you. Because mm-hmm. that's what happens every single time. Like, even... What happened with, I got canceled by the gays like like six, seven times, and I'm crazy. Did you? But yeah. Fuck. Um, they was the first people to cancel me. I was actually the first motherfucker to be canceled online. Like, <laughs> at, at, at some point, I I wasn't really like ever going to announce that. But no, nah, real shit, I was the first internet sensation to be canceled. You feel that way for real? No, I I am. What happened? It's fucking you crazy. Me. Yeah, yo, so this nigga had called me a and I called him a yeah oh gg why yeah way softer than the other one but whatever it's yeah wrong. i you called him that and he was like uh and that that was highlighted right. what i responded and said to him of course not him calling me a right which and, is in and, and they even wrong. was like yo no you can't say you you have to be gay to say those words yeah. so i was like, right, let me go eat a bitch pussy real p- quick like stop playing right. with me you're not right. about to say i'm a then I can't call you a bitch. Yeah. Please. And yeah. then I'm from Baltimore. We've been saying that word since before niggas wanted to be gay. Come on. Exactly. Out, out in public and That's shit. definitely a Baltimore jargon. I didn't know. Yeah, it was a lot of niggas that, that wasn't out. And, you know, like, that shit ain't. That's like a Baltimore term. Just like a yeah. lame ass nigga. Or yeah. that just mean you a soft ass. You, you a clown. Right. Like, yeah, you, and you know. But the issue is bitch because. Made. That don't mean you gay. I'm new to. 
But this is the thing. This is what I learned with the whole situation. First of all, I feel like those who bully tend to bully. I feel like that community in itself has been bullied and like beat down so much. Of course. And now they got the ball. It's like, fuck that. We ain't letting no anybody can get it. I'm not. Yeah, I get that. When that nigga came back and I I said that when he hit me with that, told me I'm I'm and I told him that he was that. That shit went viral. Them niggas was going at me crazy. Just like I'm talking about like two weeks straight. Just I'm like, man. So my reaction immediately was not, oh, no, not. I'm sorry. Right. It was, man, suck my dick. Because they was fucking. You a F. You a F. You a F. Oh, wow. You double down. Bitch. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I ain't no fucking. Got a pussy. I bet if we, if I take my pants off, you take yours off. Yeah. You know, you'll see I'm really a bitch. Yeah. I still beat you up, bitch. I, yeah, you know. So same shit. Yeah. But, yeah, but that's where they think we're, you know, that's why, that's why you stay canceled so long. It's, you, they want you to feel sorry. Uh-huh. They want you to look sorry. Uh-huh. They want you to, be, they want you to kiss their ass like, oh my God, no, no, no. When in all reality, I meant what I said to that nigga. Uh-huh. I didn't want to offend all the rest of y'all. Right, right. Because I don't know y'all. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Like, but I'm from Baltimore. I'm going to say that word. It's just, you know what I'm saying? That's a word. Uh-huh. But yeah, I meant that in the sense like, yeah, you gay. I wanted you to hurt like the fuck you hurt my feelings. Right. Nigga, I'm not no fucking. Uh-huh. And you, right? Not, and you're, you're, you don't feel like you're an F. Right. All right, cool. You ain't yeah. got to be one. Yeah. But. I'm going to hit you below the belt. You hit me below the belt. I don't right. give a fuck. That's how I was raised. That's right. how That's how I go. When you bitten or you roasting some fucking mm-hmm. body, you cracking on somebody. Mm-hmm. All right, the goal is to win. Yeah. Did I feel like I won? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, I got canceled. Yeah. And, and it was the same with the Muslim shit, man. When that shit, when that shit happened. I was on a plane, not seeing them niggas with the, the turbans, and they were sitting there. Which is for, actually like a sheik, right? Yeah, they were Sikhs. They yeah, weren't even Sikhs, Muslims. But the yeah. Muslims canceled me because I they thought I was talking about them. Uh-huh. They didn't even know that those people were Sikhs. Yeah. They didn't even know until... Yeah. I the, think I think the more offensive part... I'm Muslim by faith, but mm-hmm. you know, I'm sure you know Philly's a Muslim city. Yeah. Like, yeah. And I think that it's a big it's a huge um misconception that and it's perpetuated by the media and yeah. the government that muslims are terrorists and mm-hmm. for mm-hmm. as a black person in this country Definitely to know about them by the, by the, uh, the by government the and the media right sure. especially after things like 9 11 in the first these movies attack. all these fucking movies yeah, and stuff and then right. like yo it was for them niggas and they was getting down and they was praying all at the same time simultaneously yeah. just praying 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 right and um i spoke to one of them or whatever they, they didn't say nothing they just you know so i'm just like all right where the fuck are y'all going right you know and um they were praying loud yeah. the third time and yeah. i just you know you know how on movies and in 9 11 and all that shit like Niggas say certain prayers before certain you, things go down. That's so that that's what me. that you was. You were actually afraid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If we weren't trying to make fun of them, you were afraid for Listen, real. Listen, that was the thing. So I play all, I, I will play when I'm scared. I will play when I'm sad. Mm-hmm. I will play like, yo, I really try to be so emotionless. Even, even as a kid, like, yo, if I'm scared, I, I'm going to laugh first and then I'm going to cry. You yeah. feel me? Like, that's just, I don't know. That's just like something I do. So. I was I was being funny, but I was scared. Right. Because I went and I um I went to like the not the you know the people that scan your boarding pass before you get on there, like yeah, that last ticket. And ticket. I was just like, um I'm a little like nervous. But that was before uh after I after I made the video. Uh-huh. Right. And it also what fucked up so bad, what was fucked up was when I made the video, I didn't know that like uh Damn, what, y'all go to the Mass Jeep to pray. I didn't know yeah. that a Mass Jeep was hit like the day before. Mm-hmm. It was a lot of them hit, like yeah. thousands and tens of thousands of Muslims was killed. Right, it was a sensitive time. It was such a sensitive time. Yeah. And I didn't know that right. until that shit had circulated already. Like, Shade Room had grabbed it, Neighborhood Talk grabbed it, fucking On Site grabbed it, um, the Jasmine brand, Hollywood Unlocked. It, it was viral, everywhere viral. about it. And I was yeah, like, Yeah, damn. It was like, Yo, is she not? A, I celebrities were speaking like, Yo, is she not fucking aware that 10,000 Muslims just mm-hmm. got blown up yesterday? Actually, she and I'm wasn't like, aware. She didn't know. No. Yeah. And that's why I felt so, like, a little bit of relief when the Sikhs was like, 
no, we're st- we're not even Muslims. Right. We're st- and I was like, oh my god, right. them niggas still ain't want to hear that shit. Yeah, bitch, I don't care. Like, and yeah. then I had a I had a big show in Vegas. Yo, I that man, they was trying to they had threatened to bomb the fucking casino. Yeah, wow, man, that shit was crazy. And they was like, yo, we're going to bomb that shit. They was getting uh, bomb threats or whatever. And they was like, yo, what you want to do? You 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 want to go to the um? You want to do your show? And I was like. Yeah, that's like sixty thousand dollars. So I still went and right. did the show, but I was I was scared. I ain't gonna lie, yo, I was really fucking scared. I was like, I thought I was over. That was the first and only time I thought my career was over. Right. Like and, but how I remained canceled and how niggas was mad at me was when everybody was just attacking me, and now I'm like back against the wall. Like, well, bitch, I was fucking scared. All right, I don't give a fuck if it looked like a joke to you, and I was. I was, man, I was just wilding. And I, yeah. and I didn't realize how many people I was, like, really hurting. Yeah. Like, yeah. like, those Muslims died. They had families. Right. And, and before we even realized that, that they weren't Muslim, it still it still yeah. was tasteless. It still was because, like, bitch, you don't give a fuck. Yeah, it's you like, know? and just as a Muslim, like, I feel like with, especially even in inner cities, yeah. the difference between Muslims and Christians, their religions are really, are you Christian, I would yeah, assume? I'm okay. a Christian, yeah. Christians and Muslims, their religions are really, really similar. Similar, It's yes. just like a big, huge one, and it's the thing about mm-hmm. us being Jesus, um, peace of us being upon him, being a prophet, and y'all thinking he's the son of God, yeah. but, the thing about Muslims is we stand out so much because we're supposed to wear overgarment. We're supposed to be quiet. Yeah. We're supposed to be, so you can kind of see our sins mm-hmm. versus a Christian woman. You could be dressed whatever way you want to be dressed. Mm-hmm. And if you say that you're sanctified yeah. and you holy, yeah. motherfuckers are just to believe you, right? Yeah. Now, which one of those people see a homeless person and go get them a pizza? Which one of them people give back or mm-hmm. do things or try to mm-hmm. emulate Jesus, mm-hmm. be blessed be upon them, or try to be a good person at all? You know what I mean? Yeah. That's what really counts. I, I remember I read a... a, a uh, um, a Muslim guy had like a speech out and it was the title of it was like your piety isn't in like your wardrobe mm-hmm. like it doesn't have anything to do with what you look like even though as Muslims we're supposed to be covered right. up you know what I mean mm-hmm. um, I think the more the bigger problem is just like when I told you I was online arguing with people for hours and hours and hours mm-hmm. um, the thing is is that it's so many popular misconceptions that are pushed by black people, mm-hmm. like black on black crime. You hear black people say, we need to stop black on black crime and we need to stop killing each other. Um, that's a lie. That's a lie uh, perpetuated by the media and a lot of like right wing people mm-hmm. to kind of give you this idea like black people are these wild, crazy, violent people, mm-hmm. you know. Murder and um, numbers like that is usually a proximity thing. Mm -hmm. And being the the way this country was set up and how racist it is deep Mm -hmm. down systematically, Mm -hmm. black people live around each other. And that was part of the design. And that's why it would be a black on black crime thing. But the issue is, is in West Virginia, where the heroin numbers are high and there's a lot of white on white crime. You never hear this is Richard Sanchez and the white on white crime is high and you won't hear it Mm -hmm. because they're white. And that's the problem. If it's a lot of Mexicans, Mexican, Mexican. Mexican on Mexican crime is high. Yeah. There's a lot of green people, green on green. It's just about where you live. Yeah. When you look at all the numbers, we are not the more violent people. Mm. The more violent people, all you got to do is read a fucking history book. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> like the ones that came and took read this. You know what I mean? The people that came yeah. and took this country and left a bunch of blood all around it, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And they renamed it and said it was theirs. They're pretty much a, a pretty a pretty violent people, yeah. but that's not what's given to you. And in fact, a lot of black people might think, when they think terror, they think of this Muslim because of movies and things that happen yep. but the number one act of terrorism on this country is by a white mm-hmm. Aryan nation Ku Klux Klan mm-hmm. that those people those are who have done the majority of the That's domestic right. terrorism so just as a Muslim or just even being because you don't have to be a Muslim to get offended but just to be around it it mm-hmm. is like damn because it's coming from us and that's why for me when I did get canceled with the gay community, it was really important to me that I learned my way through that. And I'm mm-hmm. still learning. Um, I had, My friend was on a podcast the other day and T.S. Madison, Maddie was on. And they were like, that's the thing we love about you is that you want to learn. You're not yeah. too proud to learn. Like, yeah. don't get it fucked up. If your approach to me is you raggedy, dumbass bitch, I think you're a homophobe. You're going to get. I'm you- a homophobe. <laughs> like, I don't, don't, don't fucking say that to me. You're Don't gonna say get that in my fucking rough, face. You're going to get a yeah. rough reaction from me. It's like yeah. I'm not letting that shit slide. But at the same time, yeah. I feel like the energy from them needs to be different. 
I felt like I got a response like Boosie would get. Boosie mm. say a lot of real hard shit, yes, violent does. shit. Yes, he does. And, and he makes himself look like a fucking homophobe. Come on. So yeah. it's like you can't give everybody the same blues. You got to kind of go case by case because mm. a girl like me that wants to learn, why not teach me? Yeah. So, but at the same time, it was a white girl saying, nigga, you think I want to teach her anything? I don't. No. So that's how I look at it because that's how you have to look at it if mm-hmm. you want to be fair and if you're really appreciative of this platform mm-hmm. that you've been blessed with. Because no matter how easy it might have came, and no matter how easy it is to you, it is a blessing. Yeah. All these fucking people look to see what you going to do, yep. eat shit, say, yep. before they make a fucking move. And it's a blessing from God. That's right. You are hugely important to your family and to your generation. Yeah. You're, you've made history in your own way. So it's like the way that you appreciate that back is caring about how you affect people. That's and that's right. why it's really important to apologize the correct way. But I agree. And I definitely do. It I, is like know, a whole soup of things. That. You yeah. know what I said? I said, I, I I watched David Chappelle and I do agree with him. That's how I started my shit. Mm-hmm. Like I just deep, deep yeah. and deeper and yeah. deeper and deeper. I feel like a black person, you can't really be homophobic. It's, it's very similar. Um, I watch this stuff about D Wade and they going back and forth about their child. It's just a lot of this shit mm-hmm. It's just not our business and it just shouldn't be our business. And then right. secondly, I feel like stop assuming that we know. I used to say all the time, you look like a the T word because mm-hmm. you're not supposed to say the T word. didn't even know. Right, right. Right, and, I just found that out recently, bro, too. Bro, and that's yeah. what I said. I, I said that to Maddie. I'm like, bro, it's hard to keep up with. And we, mm-hmm. we didn't have to think about it. Okay, I'm telling this girl that mm-hmm. she looks like she's a trans person, as if trans people person look bad. Or not. Bad thing, yeah. Right? Yep, or so, not boom, beautiful. The whole time or I'm just not, trying to tell this yeah. bitch she's like a man. So let's yeah. just... So just say, still, bitch, you look like a man, bitch. Now, I just had to yeah. redo my jab because I'm mm-hmm. a funny motherfucker and yep. I can flip it around. Yep. yep. And, and... Damn, I just lost my fucking train. Oh, no, no, no. And then to be honest with you, a lot of them are trying to learn still, too. You know, at first, you know, like, think think about it. Back in the day, it was either you gay or you not. Mm-hmm. It's not all the different departments and shit. It's not yeah. all the different pronouns and shit. It's not like niggas is not saying, oh, yo, all right, I identify as a camera. Like, no, nah, right. like, niggas is not <laughs> walking around saying that. A camera, that. Like, you get it, folks. Cheat. You yeah, get it? You didn't, don't explain it. A camera, she just buzz the camera. You don't have to Bye-bye. explain Bye-bye. it. That's a good one. Whatever. <sighs> Just Dead right, room. Right. Fuck them. <laughs> they gonna be laughing when they watch it. Watch so these niggas be sleep. Wake up. But Let's for go. real, for real, you don't like. At first, it was that. Now it's a lot more. You know, you have lesbian. A lot of people don't identify as gay now. It's mm-hmm. lesbian, and they 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 don't feel like they're the same thing as bi. You know, gay. Have you and you got scissors? bisexual. Yeah. Oh yeah. I've scissored. Wow. How was it? Yeah. I wouldn't say I have. I would. I wouldn't say. Oh, I've had coochie okay. just because I've. Scissor, because it's just like I, I didn't. Really I haven't been I in there. I would love to scissor. But yeah, like it seems like a lot of work. You know what I mean? Because I figured yeah. like, I would rather have a shot where I got the leg up. Yeah. and I'm just doing the ride. Yeah, but you it's like you mean? had the bitch got to catch a rhythm. I hate a bitch. Like that's why I could never like Cause the bitch do that dance. with a white girl. White girls just is like keep it's a lot of yeah. Like hurts. you know, it's like come on, bitch. Exactly. Yeah, yeah it's not a lot of cushion. Give me your debit yeah. card. Skip Only a debit card. Why you keep trying to steal? I don't know. But no, I like when I think about being a lesbian, I think about like tongue kissing. Yeah, Scissor. that's my thing. Let's yeah. get into that. See, you yeah. know what I mean. I've never. Have you, have you ever eaten pussy before? I have. Just I've never kissed, hugged, touched. You've nothing. never done anything. Yeah, I, I got into a real flirty thing with this gorgeous woman. Yeah. I still love you today. I still love Aww. you today. But it was a lot. It was a lot. Like, it was a lot of texts and calls and words. It's like, damn. What the fuck you wanted? The scissor. And that's oh, you really did, yeah. Well, so you just wanted to fuck her, and that I was just it. Wanted to scissor damn. her. Um, Split up. And she wanted to, like, fuck with you. Yeah, talking, text, text, talk, talk. Like, come on, girl, I'm tired. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know, but I do want to try. I don't know if I want to be, can I say I don't know if I'm going to be the boy. I want to be like a Manny Fresh with the one titty. But I pop. You know, Listen. You know the stud with the little frown? Listen. I know. I got a joke She like about. a P.O.? I got a, I got a joke about Manny Fresh. I love her. I want one of those. Yes. I've been thinking about well, it a lot. Listen, I wouldn't do that. Okay. I wouldn't do that. Do I that. would say, I. Can you imagine they're just scissoring with Young and May? No. No, I can't. No. Could you imagine scissoring with Dream Doll? Tiana Taylor. Motherfucker, where I scissor both of them? Scissor the fuck out the bitch. Exactly. So that's, I don't think studs scissor. I don't think they do. What? You ever think God about damn. that shit? Yeah, you ever fuck. think about that shit? I, I don't think studs scissor. I don't think they You know be what doing I could that. do though? Hmm. Be one of them studs that sneak dick in. <laughs> you know, I know a couple men that love women that dress like men secretly. You don't know the, the little the zikes that be fucking niggas? Mm-hmm. They know. The zikes? 
You, yeah. you heard about it? You heard about it? Sneak yes. dicking. Yes. You know what they do? Sneak dicking. <laughs> yes. That's what I'm going to do. I heard about that shit. I'm going to sneak dick and give dick. Hmm. Let's wrap it up. All this right. has been great. We still got to get into the DM. First of all, we got to talk about You want to see stuff. this nigga, girl. Yeah, please. Can I see him? And he's, how, old, how old is he? 40. Bitch. His ankles all moisturized. <laughs> This boy's dressed nice. I like this. This boy's dressed nice. And he's nice. from your neighborhood. No, he's, he's from Baltimore City. Well, he's, he's from, from my He's from your mm-hmm. area. Yeah, my city. From my oh, city. no. I like it. He's okay. Old. And he's what? He got you by like 10 years? Yeah, 10 years, yeah. So do you, is that your first older guy? No. Okay. I've dated guys older than him. Yeah, because like I guess in the your ex was a little older than you too, right? Um, the, cop, mm, the funny one. Oh, Wayne. No, Wayne... Is like well, yeah, a little older, like a couple years older. How was that? that? How was dating a comic? Was that? It, fun? it was fun. Yeah, was... actually, me and Wayne are still friends. We're we're still friends. He, it just didn't work out relationship wise. Yeah. But he's actually cool. He got shit. a lot of kids. Too. It was yeah, very fertile. And I wanted my own. Yeah, you very know, fertile. not that I'm yeah. you know against guys who of have course. kids, but I want to. I want to give birth that many times myself. Right. You know what I mean? Well, right. not that many times. He got like 10, 11. 13, I want, Yeah, 14. you know. But I want. I want my kid. He's you fertile. Know, Nigga Burn. vegan. That's cold oh, strong. He didn't yeah. drink a Pepsi. Mm-hmm. Slow that But that relationship <laughs> But that relationship was fun. It was cool. Was it? it? It was cool. It just it just didn't work out. Yeah, you think you're better than me? Me? Okay, keep going. So you think y'all gonna get married? You and a guy now? Yeah. Really? Do I think I'm better than you, bitch? Mm-hmm. I'm not lonely and I'm just just tired. Well, you need some medicine, baby. Oh. I'm not fucking playing with you. Sometimes I think I'm never gonna find a man. I scare them all. Oh, in that aspect, yes. I didn't know what you meant. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I'm better than you. Yeah. Yeah. And that that's aspect, I, I didn't like, know what she meant. I said, "This I as like, a woman, no." We're, you see what I'm saying? No. That's why I like Aquarius. Yeah. Yes, I like you. Yeah. This is long overdue. Okay, so we have a lot more to talk about. Oh, Why don't you invite me on your fucking show and then we can finish. Yeah, bitch, and then I'm going to come back here. We can text same, keep All going. Right. Yeah, you come here, I come there. All right, because I have a lot of different fun. questions. But yeah. we do do a segment here called The Dark Side of the DM. Okay. I told you a little bit about it yes. earlier. Yes. Is there a DM that you would like to share with these motherfucking people? Yes. All right, let's go. Yeah, a lot of time to think about it. It's so funny. Okay, so it's, it's a cliffhanger. So like a couple years ago, right, I guess... All right, so this guy's a celebrity, okay. right? Damn, that was a good one. This nigga. Blue check in the DM. Yup, this nigga DM'd me and wanted to fly me out okay. so I could fuck him. In the ass? Yes, but not with a dildo. This nigga thought I was a man. He really did think I was a, yep, he thought I was a transgender or transsexual. He thought I was, he thought I was trans. She won the competition, didn't she? Yeah. He he thought I was transsexual. You know what? So. You know what? Yes. He was very direct. Drunk what he was. What the fuck is wrong with him? Very direct with it. I was like, This is crazy. Um, Mm. I would like to know this nigga's name later. Mm. Um, child. Whoa, woo! Slut. Let me ask you this: mm. um, if 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 he made the the deal seem pretty juicy, you know, let's mm. say you single and you know he maybe offered you a hundred thousand dollars, would you have put a strap on a fucking ass? Absolutely. What do you mean? Oh, wow, girl. Yeah, I was trying to go find a dick, and right? it was money involved. I have just you couldn't ever used find a strap one. on somebody. No, I was trying to practice all this. I was like, Not I do yet. This? Oh my god! But I was—I think I was more insulted because he thought I was a man. Yeah. So well, I was like, "Fuck him, bitch." Yeah, bitch. But ass nigga. when I seen like the wage, the wager, the money, I was like, "Oh well, my I really god!" It, it's a fetish. It's it's a fetish of it's his. No so it's not like, pressure. "Oh, I want to be with you," and I just I want this experience. I love the way you talk. I love your shit. I've been following. I love your deep voice, your raspiness. I love all that shit. That's another. I we want have you to. We have deep raspy, raspy yep, voice. Absolutely. Yeah. Listen, no pressure, but just if you could write it on a piece of paper, ball it up, throw it in the trash, I'm gonna get it out the trash. And you didn't say nothing. <laughs> oh, who, who it was? Yeah. All right, I'll no say. No big deal. Okay. I got you. Um, damn, she just blew the dark side of the DM out the water. We might as well get rid of the fucking segment. Nigga. Yikes! And Dre missed it. Whoa! Wow! All right, so listen, we have another segment because I'm a cornball and I'm older, um, and I'm stuck in my ways. So this sec, this segment is um. 
we let the people call in. Okay. Because people always ask my opinion. Can you believe it? Like they actually want to know what I think about shit. I hope they don't take my advice in real life because I'll be playing. Oh my God. <laughs> don't. Don't play with people's lives. Okay. Anyway, um, do I have the voicemail? Yes, I do. Don't I have it? Yeah. Okay. So you can give you you can answer if you want to. If you don't want to, I'll answer, okay? Okay. All right. Hey Mona, love you. My question is I'm dealing with this dude right now and he is great all around, but the dick is not there. The head is not there. It's great all around, but the dick is not there. The head is not there, the dick is not there, nothing is there. And I told him that, like I was up front with it. I told him like, Hey, I'm not really feeling it. He's great all around, but Oh, he's great all around, but the dick is not there. Okay, "Okay, well teach me. Mona, how do I teach him? Oh, he like, wants I know, to be taught. Obviously, I need to tell him what I like, but how exactly do I go about that? You know, like, how do I make that so he understands and it's not awkward? You know what's crazy? Mm-hmm. The thing about, and I don't want to get all philosophical, but mm-hmm. women are not raised or we're not in a culture where it's okay to, like, own your womanhood. Yeah. So it's a very, to some people, it's a very strange thing to think about telling a man, no, go to the left, suck my clitoris, oh, and spit on listen, and I just was talking it. about that shit. A lot no. of women, not only do they not know how to do it, they have never done it or been mm-hmm. in a situation where it was, like, oh, before. I yeah. was with my ex for years, seven, mm-hmm. eight years. The first time he ate this cat, it was horrible. I laughed a little, and I said, yo, that's not, I gotta, you gotta let me show you some shit. He ain't my pussy again for 10 months. Like, it was mm-hmm. like, like a thing yeah, you know what I mean yeah. so it's like when you get in those type of situations it'll scare you from but mm-hmm. to us I mean I don't know for me my first thing is how do I teach him bitch you know what you like yeah, tell him to do know. what Rodney used to do the one that can't keep a job bitch yeah. turn him into Rodney <laughs> Listen, literally, that. but that's another thing. Like you said, women are not talking about what the fuck they don't like. Mm-hmm. And But a nigga will tell us what the fuck they don't like. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Or they'll change it. They'll just shift it, you know? And we're, yeah. we're submissive during sex, so we'll do whatever the fuck they want, just mm-hmm. about, you know? Yeah. But trust me, they will do what the fuck you want them to do yes. if you tell them that shit. Yes. Niggas are dying for that communication during mm-hmm. sex, I'm telling you. Yeah. Telling them, oh, no, 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 no. One thing I can't stand is for a nigga to play with my asshole and he got a nail. That motherfucker cut the shit out my asshole. Nigga, I don't like, I will, I have taken a nigga hand and bent that motherfucker back Yeah. before. Like a teacher. Like, get the fuck off my butthole. Wow. For real. Why not just get off my butthole or you go straight to bending it? Yeah, no, because it's like, it, you, you got to know what the fuck certain movements yeah, is, nigga. If, yeah. I, if I jump a little bit, right, it's like, right, 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 right. ouchie, bitch. Yeah, yeah. And then if I be like, all right, if I like kind of move your hand, yeah. why the fuck is you putting it back? Right. Nigga, move your fucking hand. Yo, Get off my bone. You know what I don't like? That's it. You know how we here get to like spreading your butt cheeks and that right where your ass splits that yep, little part and that yep. bitch rip apart like an envelope? Yeah. Who the fuck? That's what it is. My ass was ashy. That's what I figured out. You have to be moisturized there because if you keep squeezing that bitch open when your ass is ashy, it hurts. You must fuck a lot of ashy ass bitches because how would you know (laughs) that? I was never going to mention that my ass was ashy when it happened, but that would have, I was dry. Wow. No, 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 baby. Who, yeah. Oh, God. No. I'm always asking. Nigga ain't love, never ripped the, my shit. He's eating your ass and he just keeps like pulling it apart, or he'll be fucking you and he'll keep pulling that one cheek because it feels real good, especially if you yeah. got a lot of ass if yeah. they open it. Yeah. But if they pull it far too far and you're dry, your butt rips like a piece of paper. Well, that happened when I was giving birth, but never um, during sex. The top of the butt crack, Jess. The top of the butt crack. I can't relate, babe. <laughs> Just leave me out to dry. So my, I hope you're paying attention, Susie. What we're saying to you at home <laughs> is that you should be happy that he even is saying things like "teach me." Yeah, that means he's open yeah. to it. That's a great thing. Girl, you better teach that. Get nigga your what balls you right. Even sometimes, if you if it's too hard to do, wait till y'all in the bedroom while the lights is off. Close mm-hmm. your eyes and just start mm-hmm. talking. Tell him to do all the stuff that the guy you cheat on with does, and maybe you can stop cheating. You fucking whore. Okay, so the last segment is manifestation. <laughs> yes, um, okay. I'm manifesting um, a tour with a big finale. I want to have it filmed. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I want to get my own special out there. I want to sell it, hustle it myself. Yes. Um, I'm going to send it to you. Some other comments I respect because I know y'all going to love it. Hold me down. You Absolutely, know. Um, nigga. But what are you manifesting? Because 2023 is right around the corner. Are you manifesting anything for 2023 besides marriage? <laughs> Did I say Yes, another baby. Yeah, wow. I'm manifesting a family, my baby for sure. I I have to have another child before I'm 32. Mm. Like I I have to just because 
That's what I want. That's yeah. what I want. And then I'm I'm 30. So I'm approaching another decade of life where mm-hmm. it's going to be nothing but greatness. It's only up. You That's know, right. I have my talk series. I have my um my podcast, Carefully Reckless. I have Reckless Discussions. I have, I'm still on tour. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm getting, uh, I just got casted um, and uh, with two movies. I'm doing two shows this year. Um, one is with NBC, 50 Cent. Wow. It was Greenlit. Um, man, just, I'm getting ready for my special too. Absolutely getting ready for that show. I'm so fucking happy. Um, and then what else? Yeah, I, I got my estate. I just, I just, I'm waiting for everything Win to it, just baby. fall. And, yeah. and the baby is coming because, listen, I don't know if it's something special about me. The last guy that sat here and manifested the baby they want was Ro Timmy. And he manifested he wanted a girl. He just announced like three days ago yeah, he's want, having a girl. I love Ro Timmy. Listen, it's something nigga, special man. about me. Rub my head okay. and then you'll be pregnant tonight. Okay. Listen, I am extremely tonight, proud of you. I'm on my menstrual. I can't. You can walk through mud. <laughs> You feel me? <sighs> Fuck wrong with this you, girl. nigga. All right. We gang banging at my house. You know what I'm saying? Yo! <laughs> no. Go um, ahead. I am extremely proud of you. It, it was, you it's more. more than a compliment to be compared to somebody like you. Yo, yeah, you're thank huge. you, man. I started like four years after you definitely looked at what you did. Like, yo, that's something that, you know, I want to do that. I thank want to go you. that way or whatever. I think you're a professional. I think you have real talent. You know thank what I mean? Baby. And I think we're lucky to get to see it. I can't wait for the special. I, I can't that. wait to see what else you got yes. going on. And I'm proud of you. And it's like, again, with black girls like this, don't call me no white girl. Don't call her no fucking white girl. Me? We ended on that note. I am so smooth. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I'm Thanks so player. Hey, yeah. Uh...